Yo, what is up guys, Surgical Goblin here, and before this video starts, I want to thank you all for reaching over 8,000 subscribers. For my new subscribers, welcome to the family, and enjoy this video. I've been so alone ever since I left the tribe, that's just how it goes, cause I like to... Yo, what is up guys, Surgical Goblin here. Before this video starts, I do want to mention I'm a little bit sick, but I do want to bring a video for you all. So please leave a like for that and let's begin this video. So in this video, I will be sharing actually a ladder deck, which I had some really good success with lately. I hit 4.7k as a level 10 yesterday, beating some maxed out RGs. And locally, this is the leaderboard from the Netherlands. I'm number 10 local, so I'm really happy with that. And this is the deck. It is basically a really good, now nah, not really a control deck, but you do have some really good defensive structures in it. For example, the Inferno, but also like those two spirits, you can get really much value out of it. For example, if they play a main horde and you place down your fire spirits, you can get positive elixir traits with that. And also baiting out the lock with the princess or baiting out the lock with, for example, one of these two spirits. And then you can put princess high to chip away. So in this video, because I'm sick, I don't really want to do a live battle. I would just share three replays with you all. And I hope you guys will enjoy it. So the first replay, I'm playing against a level 12 and yesterday I actually, yeah, every every match I played against a level 12 and sometimes even a level 13, but against a level 13 I did lose because his levels were just too high for me. So I just put a mega minion at the back and I will try to cycle because he puts down his bomb, but I don't really have a whole cry to, to punish him, but now I do have because I cycled back to it and his only defense is a lock and an ice spirit. So my Hulk Rider will get two shots and my Mega Main is locked on the tower and is dealing a lot of damage and he drops down his knight to let it tank but he was too late. So here he will drop his goblin barrel to push but I have my lock ready. So he has dealt barely any damage and his tower is already down to 698 because he uh, put an aggressive pump down right at the start uh, investing 6 elixir and I could punish him not really because I didn't have Hulk Rider uh, right away but he also pushed with goblin barrel so at the end it didn't really matter here i will go with fire spirits to chip away because he just used his lock and one spirit makes it to the tower so that puts his tower down to 474 so at this point i will put an ice spirit to see what he drops and also chip away again so he drops a knight so i will drop my inferno to don't leak any elixir and here he will actually split his three muskets so i will go ahead and fireball the two right on the right and then drop mega minion on top of the knight and the uh, musket and here i will drop a lock and i thought he actually tricked me but he didn't so one goblin can chip away uh, at my tower and he actually has a mirror and he hasn't revealed it yet so i will drop both my spirits not knowing he drops it to the side so i could have dropped only my uh my fire spirit but he drops his ice spirit as well so at the end it didn't really matter Again, I will put my princess high to chip away and it and his tower is down to 165 now. And I know it is in fireball range or when I cycle back to a princess, I could again put it high. So here I will just drop a Hulk Rider because I know uh, he will come soon, but I don't really want to let him come with everything. So I will just drop, drop something and here I will fireball and I will uh, drop fire spirits in the middle to clean up his main horde and lock his goblin barrel but also hit his two muskets but they do get some hits in and i know he has a mirror because he uh, revealed that so i have my fireball ready for that and there i throw my uh, fireball so he comes with a knight and at this point he, he says well played 20 seconds left i'm pretty sure i can hold it off i have my hook rider ready i will drop ice spirit to distract the knight he actually locked my he tried to lock my princess but he missed I'll drop Hawk Rider to tank and Fire Spirits onto the musket and my princess kills them. I have my Fireball ready for the Goblin Barrel and that is a good game. So GG well played. And the next replay is really interesting and, and it was actually really close. I hope it would make it to TV Real but it didn't so that's unfortunate but it is a really cool replay. So again I'm playing a level 12 but this level 12 has actually maxed out levels except for his mini P.E.K.K.A and his Lock and his Lightning is level 7 but his RG and Arches are level 13 so that's really uh, it's really high because I mean I do have high levels for a level 10 but for example my Mega Man being level 8 and then he has level 13 Arches so that's crazy also his Fire Spirits are level 13 but I have my Lock ready for them 
So here I will put my Inferno to defend his Royal Giant and lock his uh, Fire Spirits. And he didn't have enough Elixir for, for uh, Lightning in my Inferno. So my Inferno could just roast away his Giant. And at this point, I know he just locked my Princess at the left. So I will go with Hulk Rider Ice, uh, Fire Spirits. And he will put down Furnace. And he also puts down uh, Arches. So I will put down my Princess on the left. So uh, my Princess will shoot the Arches but also hit the Fire Spirits. And I know I cycled too fast for him to have his lock back in the cycle. So that is why I put my Princess down that early. Otherwise I would have waited with my Princess. And here he will drop, drop uh, a lock. So I will drop uh, Megamine in the back, have my Inferno ready. And I actually wanted to go with Hulk Rider on the left but I didn't have enough elixir. So I will drop my Inferno and here he made a mistake which really helped me uh, winning this game. He actually only lightning at my uh, Mega Man. He didn't hit my Inferno but he also didn't hit my Tower. So that was really interesting. And here I will put my Princess on the right to chip away and put the pressure. And he has Fire Spirits ready for them. And my Inferno got uh, really a lot of value because... Uh, because he didn't lightning my inferno, it was still alive, and that is why his Mega Man didn't make it to my tower because my inferno still had a bit of life, so it ki uh, killed it. And I keep, as you guys can see, I keep the pressure high with putting spirits all the time and cycling back. So he has to really choose what he has to lock. And here I will go with Hawk Rider and Fireball. My Hawk Rider luckily go, uh, went for the tower, so it will get two shots. And my Mega Man cleans up his Mini P.E.K.K.A. which is really nice. And here he will drop RG in the back. So I will just drop Fire Spirit because he just uh, used his lock. Then I will drop Ice Spirit and go with Hulk Rider again. So yeah guys, so here he drops his Furnace and my Hulk Rider is going for that. But I know I have to defend so I will drop my Inferno and then Mega Man on top. But he, his Lightning is level 7 so it almost immediately kills my... Uh, so I drop my princess but he locks it, but so I will lock the RG and I will drop Ice Spirit to freeze both and then Fire Spirits to also hit both, so that was really good uh, with the Fire Spirits. So he actually comes with RG and my and he, he tried to uh, distract my Hulk Rider with the Furnace but that didn't make it and I pushed back his Royal Giant with uh, the lock and I actually won that game with 68, 66 HP on my tower. So that was actually really close and I was really happy that I won that. And that game actually took me to 4.7k as a level 10. I know uh, I don't have a live battle or it is a bit of a short video. But as I said I'm sick so I don't really have that, that much energy to do live battles and uh, commentate that, that well and concentrate as well. So here I will start with a princess high and he drops his own princess but my princess get, gets 3 shots. And I like to do this actually. I drop my hawk rider and then lock but... I don't know why, but he already dropped his Skarmie, but uh, that is what, what I was aiming for. Uh, pushing with the Hawk Rider and then do a lock. And then, for example, if he dropped Goblins or a Skarmie as he did, hit, hit it as well with my lock. But he actually dropped it early, which I wasn't expecting. So my Hawk Rider didn't really get much shots, but uh, it still got one hit. So that's always nice. So here he comes with Minion Horde and Miner. I have Fireball for his Minion Horde. And my Mega Man for his Miner. And he actually fireballs my Mega Man. So I know he's really down on uh, Elixir. So I push with Ice Spirit Hulk Rider. And he only has a lock. And nothing else. And he actually drops a Skarmie. I'm not sure why. I think he tried to distract my Mega Man. But it was already dead. So I dropped my Princess to kill it. And I know he has his Princess in cycle. So I had my lock ready. And there I release it to kill his Princess. So I know he has to react the... Uh, to my princess otherwise it will deal a lot of damage on his tower so he will drop his miner on my princess yeah pretty soon oh no he actually drops his uh main horde which is interesting i would go with the miner if i was him but here again i made i make a a big trade and he was already down on elixir so i will go with hawk rider uh ice spirit and princess on the right but he has an inferno and he counted that really well and he also locks my princess so my hook rider didn't make it to the tower but i'm still up three elixir so at this point i'm looking pretty good he he barely dealt any damage to my tower and with my spirits and lock and fireball and also the princess it's really strong uh, against his deck 
So my fire, I, I put down fire spirits because he just locked my princess. So they made it to the tower, and I pushed with ice spirit hawk rider, and my hawk rider kills the tower. It swings twice and then the ice spirit jumping on it as well so at this point i know i can expect um, a main horde and a goblin barrel so i would drop ice spirit fire spirits on his miner and then lock his goblin barrel he dropped his fireball and i actually dropped oops because i placed my uh, princess on the right but i i definitely had to save it because i just used my lock but this deck cycles so fast that at the end it didn't really matter and I will drop Hawk Rider in the middle. He will drop uh, actually a Fireball which surprised me and then it was a good game. So I will give him a th thumbs up and well played. So yeah guys, this is a really strong deck. If you are searching for a ladder deck, I would definitely recommend this deck. I hope you guys can learn from this video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe.